Hey, what's happening guys? I've got a neat little Arduino project for you guys today. And it is brought to you by Solder Stick. More about them later. So, what I got here is an Arduino Nano. And it is connected to a simple OLED display and two push buttons. And I don't know what... Well, I, okay, I do know what, what made me think of this project. When I was a kid, my dad worked for the schools and his uh, main job was maintenance, but he also was a bus driver, and he worked the football games, sold tickets, and he had one of these little things on his hand with a little counting, a click, 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 for every ticket he sold. And I saw one of those things on an old television show the other day, and it made me think of that, and I thought, you know what? You could update that with a simple version with an Arduino. You could also do it using discrete components. If you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll do that too. But it'll be more than four pieces. So again, we have our Arduino hooked up to an OLED and two switches. And I would imagine putting this onto either a little uh, 3D printed enclosure or maybe putting on a, a, a circuit board. If you'd like to see me do a PCB of this, leave that down below. <laughs> so I put uh, two different height buttons on here. You see a tall one and a short one. And these are 12 by 12 buttons, and the reason I did that is for the click. Makes a nice click when you do it. So, all this happening, and I'll show you, this is all done in the software. When you close this button, you can see it takes this pin, which comes over here to D2, to ground. The Arduino says, oh, that one's low. When that one's low, I'm supposed to go up by one. Well, here's the secret. You have to debounce it, and we'll talk about that, too. If you don't, when you press that button, it might go up by 50. So right now, I have it set for about two clicks a second. You see, if you try to go any faster, it won't do it. You just get two clicks a second. And if you messed up, I have a counter reset right there. That's the smaller button, which is not to be confused with the... Uh, Hardware reset right there. So I just thought it was a cool project. Let me show you the code for it. Let's hop on over to the computer. I think you'll like it. All right, so here is the Arduino tally counters uh, script for the Arduino, the code. So the OLED is on the I squared C bus. So we need wire on H so we can talk. Squared C bus. Now we're going to drive the OLED with the Adafruit SSD 1306 driver. So we need that and we need its companion here, the graphics driver. We could probably get away without the graphics driver, but I always just put them together. This is a required line to reset the OLED. You set whatever pin you want, doesn't matter. Um, this is how we set up our OLED. We are going to call the OLED display, but you could just as easily put OLED there. It doesn't matter. And we're just going to use that library that we included, you know, those lines right there. So we need some variables. Count, that's going to be the main variable of the program. We will increase this variable. We need to keep track of if the button is low or high. That's what that does. This is part of our debounce routine. And this right here is probably the most important part of debouncing. This is, consider this your software potentiometer. The higher this number gets, the less it's going to bounce. I have it set for 500, half a second. So you could press the button twice a second and it will count. Any faster than that and it won't count. Now we go to our setup. This is our main counting button, our tally button. Uh, pin mode 2, that's the button number, and it is an input set for pull-up. So it will be held high, meaning when we pull that button, it, even if there's nothing happening, even if there's nothing connected to it, it's going to read high. Then we have the same for pin mode 4. That's going to be our reset button, and it's just going to reset the counter. The Arduino has its own reset button. I always use serial uh, for debugging. It's commented out because you'll need it. 
So we start the display by saying display, remember that's the name we created for the OLED, begin using this driver at this address. We show the little Adafruit logo, take a break, clear the display, move on. So the first thing we do is we see if the button is pressed by this variable here. Press is equal to digital read of button two. Now, if the button is pressed, we're going to go through our debounce routine. We're going to say if the number of milliseconds minus the last debounce time is greater than the debounce delay, then we go on and do something. If it's not, we're just going to skip over this whole thing. So we say if millis is less than the debounce time, remember it started at zero, is greater than the debounce delay, which is right now at 500, then it'll drop down here and it'll say, yes, the button has been pressed. It is still being pressed. Increment the count variable. And then we're going to get the current millis so we can continue. Then we have our logic for the uh, uh, the, the reset. I call it set to zero. That's just listening to less than zero. So sets. So set to zero is set to be equal to the digital read of button four. Again, remember, we're holding these buttons high. So if you're not pressing it, it's going to read high. And we're going to say if set to zero is zero, which means somebody is pressing it, then we're going to reset the count to zero. Now notice the difference between those two arrows for equal signs rather. This one is a comparison. This one is a statement. This says, is it this? That's what this means. This is like a question mark. Does this equal this? This says make th this one says make this equal to that. So there is your question. There is its answer. And that's how we reset it. Then we just output it. You may want to play with the uh, size here. Because if you're going to be counting high numbers, you probably want to make that a little bit smaller. But other than that, that's all she wrote. All right, guys, I hope you like my little quickie Arduino project of an old school tally counter updated for the 21st century. And I'd like to thank our sponsor, Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes all kinds of terminators. They make insulation displacement terminators, uh, self-soldering, self-heating, butt connectors, ring terminals, uh, spade terminals. I will put a link to the, them down below along with the discount code. So once again, thanks to the solder stick for sponsoring this video. Thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.